Hey there, this is Nick from Marmalade. Today I'm going to walk you through adding Amazon Ads to your Marmalade game or app. Amazon Ads is pretty self-explanatory. It's an advertising service from Amazon. It's supported on all Android devices and also on iOS. That means you can ship your game to iTunes, the Amazon Store, Google Play, or any other Android store and use this advertising service out of the box. You need to sign up as a developer with Amazon and you use the same portal that you would use if you were making a build for Amazon Store. I'm gonna walk through setting up an account and also then how to add advertising IDs and then adding it to a real game. You'll see that adding it to the game takes only about three or four minutes. Um, it's very easy to do and then I'll show you some of the advanced options that you might want to use as well. Before visiting Amazon's developer website, we'll just take a quick look at the Marmalade docs for Amazon Ads. This lives under our usual doc site under the integration section. It lists all the APIs, gives you an example, and has links for signing up and basically everything I'm gonna cover in this video today. Over on Amazon's website, developer.amazon.com, I'm going to sign in with my regular Marmalade email address here. The first time you sign up, it'll ask you to register as developer, and you can actually use your regular Amazon uh, store shopping ID if you want. Uh, it'll also walk you through tax setup. Once you're signed in, you'll see a screen a bit like this. I'm gonna click on apps and services at the top here to set up my app. If I was making a build for Amazon Store, this is where I would register an ID for my app. And actually the same ID is used for the store and adverts on Amazon. For iOS, I need to add a different ID, so it uses a slightly different uh, key to register the iOS versus the Android apps, but the process is exactly the same. So I'll click on mobile ads here. Uh, it's very straightforward, basically, two big buttons, register a new iOS app, register a new Android app. So I'll just click this. I'm going to use the Harvest Hijinx example that comes with Marmalade. So I'll just fill that in. And I'm not aiming this game at children. Hit Create Identifier and you get a key. Then just repeat exactly the same thing for Android. It's got a few more options because it actually uses these options for the Amazon store if you decide to ship to the Amazon store. Save that, and then I've now got two keys. If I hop back to the main page, you can see my two uh, app IDs here, and I'm just gonna copy these to the clipboard to add to my app later, and that's it, we're basically done. Amazon provide uh, separate SDKs for iOS and Android, but with Marmalade, all of this is integrated into the Marmalade SDK, so there's actually no additional files to download, just open your uh, code and get coding. Let's add some ads to our game then. I'll close this down and open up the Marmalade Hub. As you saw earlier, we're going to use Harvest Hijinks, which is an example app that ships with the Marmalade SDK, so I'll just open that up from Tutorials games, Harvest Hijinks and Open. Harvest is a 2D Connect 3 type game. I'll just run it on the desktop to show you what it looks like. Obviously we want to integrate our adverts in a way that is nice for the players and isn't interfering with their gameplay experience. Harvest is pretty full screen but there's a nice bit of space on the title screen here so we're going to add a banner ad at the bottom. I'll close that down and open it up in the IDE. I've not had to do any extra work to integrate the Amazon advertising API. It's all built in. Uh, the first thing we're gonna to want to do though is to actually add the extension. It's called S3 Amazon Ads. So I'm adding it to the project's MKB project file here. And if I save that and press F7 to rebuild, it'll pull in the extension. I'm using Visual Studio, but you could use Xcode on a Mac here and the process is exactly the same. Uh, I'll just build to make sure that's all okay. And you can see on the left here, in the extensions folder, we can now see S3 Amazon ads. And the header file here has all of the API. It's fairly complex. There's lots of different options you can set. But for this example, we're gonna have a pretty simple banner at the bottom. After I've built and run Harvest with ads included, I'll show you the Amazon ads example project, which has a few slightly more complex options set. As I said, we're gonna add adverts to the main menu. So look in the game source, it's a pretty straightforward bit of code. Open up main menu.h. First thing to do is to include the API. So S3 Amazon ads, and it should auto fill that for me. 
and you get an advertising ID for each advert that you load. So we're going to want to keep track of that ID. I'm going to add a variable here called S3 Amazon Ads ID. As I said, all pretty obvious. And then now we want to actually load and display the ad. So I'll open up the source for main menu and go to the init function. Uh, what we're going to do here is basically register for the Amazon service, prepare the ad with the parameters that we want to use for it, and then load and display it. We're going to do all of this in our initialization function. Uh, in reality, you might want to set up an initializer initially and then wait a bit later until you want to display the ad. But as I said, I'm keeping things nice and simple for this example. You saw earlier that we had two different ad IDs, one for iOS and one for Android. Rather than building the app twice, because Marmalade lets you build your binary once and then just easily condition it for different platforms, we're going to have a runtime check just to check the device type, basically check which OS it's running on, uh, and then set the advertising ID accordingly. So I'll just check which device here. So in this case, Android, and then we'll have a similar one for iOS. And then in each case, we're going to just call S3 Amazon ads in it, which is the initialization function. If you've used any Marmalade extensions, they all look pretty much the same. This should be very familiar to you. And earlier on, I copied the advertising IDs from the website. So I'll just paste in my Android one. and the iPhone one underneath. And that's all we need to do to actually register for the service and get the server to connect to our app. And once we've done that, we actually want to prepare, load and display an ad. So I'm gonna set my ad ID identifier I declared earlier to zero. It's a sensible thing to do to start with. And then the first thing we will do is call prepare. We pass the ad ID here. This is used in all the functions from now on to identify which ad we're actually talking about. Uh, this is currently set to zero, obviously, and when this function returns, it'll set that to a value that the server has given us. I also set uh, the parameters I want in this function. So we're going to display a banner ad and we're gonna position it at the bottom of the screen. and we're going to use uh, Amazon Ads Size Auto. So this is basically saying, make the ad stretch to fill the screen. Uh, this is the sort of simple default option that you can use to make sure your ad displays on a device of any size. But in a real game, you might want to use specific size ads to fit around the rest of your UI. That's our ad prepared. That'll return instantly. Um, and then we actually want to load an ad. So I've wrapped this all in an if statement for safety to make sure I'm not calling any functions when nothing's been loaded. Say for example, if the server isn't returning anything. And once again, we pass our ad ID here when uh, loading an ad. And that's basically it. I could pass false to this Amazon uh, ads load ad function, and then it would just load the advert but not actually display it. What you might do then is to display your own ad while waiting for it to load, because this loads asynchronously. And you could, for example, display an advert for one of your other games um, while waiting for the, the service to initialize. So that's us loading our ad. Uh, obviously, we don't want to display the ad once the main game has started, so we want to make sure we hide or destroy this as soon as the user clicks the play button. So I'll just find where that is in code. 
this is uh, an update function checking for the big play button being hit. So here we'll destroy our ad. Uh, I'm going to check an ad was actually loaded for safety. And just call S3 Amazon Ads destroy. Once we destroy the ad, it's no longer available at all. That ad ID is now completely useless. And if we want to display another ad, we have to, again, prepare an ad and load it. I can also just hide the ad if I wanted to. And that's it, let's build. Hopefully I've got no mistakes in my code. Yep, and I've built for desktop here, but you can't actually test the ads on desktop, so they'll only load on device once the uh, Android uh, code is pulled in the background. So we'll now make a build for ARM and then we'll deploy it with the Marmalade Hub. One thing to note is that uh, if you rotate the device, the advert won't automatically resize. So you'd want to register for uh, the orientation change callback uh, from S3 surface uh, and then basically load another ad to fit that orientation. As I said before, we're not going to show that in too much depth here today, but I'll show you that running in the uh, Amazon Ads example later. So our ad is now built. If I switch back to the hub, I can just switch to Android here, plug in any Android device. I'm using uh, Kindle Fire HD. Uh, it's an Amazon device, but this would obviously work on anything. Uh, switch to release build because I've just built for release. Uh, hit package and off we go. That's now gonna build and I can just copy it with File Explorer to the device. Let's open up the Harvest Hijinx APK that we've dropped onto the device. So I've just opened up a File Explorer, click the APK and install it. I could have pushed this over ADB from USB, but I kept it simple. Open up and we can see the game running um, and it will load the advertisement at the bottom once it gets it from the server. And I can just click that and run through. This is a test advertisement that Amazon have provided. Go back and then once I start the game, the ad will disappear. Let's take a quick look at the Amazon Ads example that ships with the SDK. It's a regular example just contained in the examples S3 folder. So I'll just open that up. It's called S3 Amazon Ads. And this basically just shows a few more advanced options you might use and gives you a bit of a framework that you could drop straight into uh, your own app. So we'll open that up in the ID and just take a quick look at the code. Once again, I need to set the uh, app ID that I got from the Amazon developer website. So I'll just save that there and start it building for device. And you can see it's got things like it tracks the state of the ad. So whether it's been initialized, whether it's loaded, whether we're waiting for an ad to load, um, it shows a banner advertisement and also has a separate button for interstitial advertisement and it registers for rotation events so that it can display different size adverts depending on whether you're in portrait or landscape. We'll switch back to the hub and just make a build for device and install it. So I'll hit package only. And while that's building, I should also add that we don't currently have an official wrapper for Amazon ads for the quick Lua version of Marmalade, but we'll be uploading a wrapper to GitHub. So stay tuned for uh, a link to that. Once again, we'll open up our app through the file manager. Here we can see S3 Amazon ads. Uh, it's a very simple example. It just has some buttons on the screen that load different kinds of ads, but you can now see the kind of things that the Amazon API supports. So this goes through each step this time. I can load and show an ad, destroy it, and then the interstitial ads just run full screen like that with a little cross button. Once again, you can touch to go straight to whatever's advertised. And that's it. Hopefully that's given you a nice insight into Amazon ads and shown you how simple and quick it is to integrate. For more information, visit our website, madewithmarmalade.com.